So I want to first talk about how we met. Yeah, I actually remember when the uh, Light Switch beta came out, like the first beta in August 2010. Yes. You uh, were recommended by a developer evangelist, yes. Daniel Egan, yes. said that you were insane for this product, yes. right? And so we started chatting, and you know, at my job being a community manager is like sort of about fostering that new community. And I knew right away that you had so much passion for this product that you would be a huge asset to all of us. So it was at the last year at the MVP Summit, um, uh, we sat down with the team, you guys gave us uh, shirts, yep. Alessandro who yep. has his new book um, about Light Switch that just came out last week, uh, Light Switch Unleashed, which by the way you're also the uh, technical editor on. Yes. <laughs> I mean the, the thing is is the relationship that the product group really relies on MVPs to, to give us feedback of course to, to make our products better but also to help the community understand how to use the products in the first place you know so I mean we, we really have like it's this like you know uh, symbiotic relationship you know we can't do it all you know the product team is it's engineering a product we're looking to you to help us drive us as well as help drive the community so and I can't, I can't say enough how much I think okay. Light switch is released. Everyone's downloaded it. I have, I've downloaded it. I've uh, been playing with it for like four hours now. Um, I'm really excited about it. Yep. Um, can we talk about one feature? All data. Yeah, absolutely. So the yeah, so right, the Visual Studio 11 beta just released today. Okay. okay. So and within that is the Light Switch next version of Light Switch, okay. and one of the biggest features in Light Switch is the O data. So the support for O data, the Open Data Protocol, not only being able to um, expose the data services that you create in Light Switch as O data services, but also to be able to consume. Uh, OData services as well. You see OData everywhere now, right? In SharePoint and you know reporting services, and a lot of Microsoft products, and not just Microsoft. It's actually a it's a standardized protocol for communicating with between data systems, right? A lot of enterprises use it to you know to communicate with partner systems right. and and you know create and to basically kind of expose that data in a much more you know easy way. Okay, so an easy API to kind of get a data. And so it makes sense that Lightswitch embraced that completely. So I'm really excited about that feature. We've got some great content coming out in the next few days on that. And what content do you have planned? So I'm going to be writing a post on, you know, next week. I'm going to write a couple posts. One thing I'm going to do is show you how to consume uh, OData feeds from okay. the Azure Data Market. And then I'll show also how to then expose the data that you build in Lightswitch as OData services and then use that in Power Pivot in Excel to do some data analysis. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff planned and community will go on with Lightswitch. And download the beta. <laughs>